Hey yo, today we are building this diorama. I'm for sure not the best diorama artist, but I'm learning and I like sharing the process and the results as well as the mistakes. Hopefully you can learn or be inspired to do something similar. It's really not difficult at all. So let's jump in. I suck at drawing, but I saw a couple of other builders do this and I wanted to try it out, kind of sketching out what you want to build and how you want to put it together, maybe some dimensions. And honestly, it helped out a lot. Before, I just randomly put stuff together. Sometimes in toy photography, floor can get overlooked. Or sometimes it's not needed. But I wanted a good sand base. I saw this tip to cover the edge with painter's tape to help with the sand, but I didn't use enough to cover the entire board. It was still good to do it just in case. So I got some sand from my son's pit. Don't tell him or my wife. I just put a thick layer of Mod Podge and spread it out somewhat evenly. And then I just sprinkled the sand all over it. Be careful not to touch it when it's drying because it will result in it clumping up. And don't worry about the whites showing, it dries clear. Now for the buildings. I didn't want to be extra precise, but I wanted it to be clean. So I measured and trimmed to give a level edge and bottom. I don't think this spray adhesive is the best. I had it left over from some failed cosplay. I know there are some other better foam glues out there. I also use these pins to connect and hold the pieces together while the glue dries. Onto a mistake. I thought I was being crafty by using this different kind of foam. It's like a packaging foam. It felt nice to cut, but later on, I'm realizing that it's not good for this stuff. It's too squishy and soft. So for the next step, I use a spackling stuff to create texture, as well as blend in some of the connected pieces. But because this other foam was so squishy, it was pretty hard to spread on. I tried checking on our sand base. It's looking good. I did mix some white glue with water and spray it on. It's supposed to help reinforce and connect more sand together. I'm not good at cleaning up, but I do what I can. It's definitely important to have a good work area. On to the painting. All the paints are all the paints I used are different browns and beiges and some white to mix it in. For the base coat, I used a little Mod Podge too. I wanted to start off dark and then add layers that are lighter, but that didn't completely work out. And on that squishy black foam, it was hard to paint since the spackling didn't cover at all. I did feel a little discouraged, but I needed to stop anyway for the day. Coming back, since the paint dried more and made that foam a little less squishy, I was able to add some more of the spackling as well as roll some foil and give detail onto the foam. I wanted this new layer pretty light. It's easy to think of sand as brown or orange or yellow, but I feel like it's closer to gray, kind of. After that first layer, I added white with a damp sponge. I used this technique before and it was really cool to see it blend into each other. So I went over the whole thing with it. During one of the steps, I accidentally broke the two pieces apart. I was gonna glue it together again, but I kinda liked it separated, more modular. thing I wanted to do was add some extra details. I got this wooden dowel that I spray painted silver and then added some jewelry string and connected with little clips I made and just pushed it into the foam. For the final step for this is a black wash. It's just some black paint I mixed in a jar with a lot of water and I just drenched it all. I let it fall and drip down and then patted it with a paper towel. Some of the streaks I liked in there, so we'll see how it dries. 
Overall, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I will definitely be adding more to it later on. Hope you enjoyed this process of building this diorama. I definitely have a lot to learn and get better. I will see you in the next one. Peace.